Or perhaps the Windows Task Manager Control Alt Delete isn't detailed enough for you. Well, you've got to try out today's real file. It's Faber Toys from the uh, famous German company Faber AG Gesellschaft. Right? No. <laughs> I, 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 do, I do not believe that is the uh, case. <laughs> Roger Chang is here with our free file of the day. So, right here, uh, Faber Toys or Faber Toys. I'm not, still not sure because I want to call it a Fabergé egg. <laughs> For some reason. No relation to Fabergé. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. And essentially what it does, it's a power tool that allows you to sh uh, look into exactly what's running on your system at any given time. Now, right now I have it, and it's going to list the 18 processes running. But it'll also let me go into those particular dependencies or what files are associated. So let's go to the uh, let's go to some that most people... Let's dependencies mean that these are program these, files the program needs? These are, exact. These are the... For example, if you look down here, I cur clicked on the cursor X speed. It's a little application that allows us to do this kind of bubblegum colored right. uh, mouse cursor. And these are all the files that are or modules that are currently being used Interesting. by cursor X speed. Now, DLLs. DLLs. These yep. are dynamically, dynamically linked files. Right, yeah. Now, if there's something really odious, uh, for example, and I know what's running, I can just terminate it and I click terminate. Terminate. And it will disappear, but since we yeah. like the little bubblegum... Uh, that's Cursor the thing that gives us the bubble gum. Yeah. Yes, and we don't want to lose a bubble no. gum because it's so nice and it's it's not. And things like service host and explorer.exe, don't terminate those because no. those are key those are Windows things, components. And if you do that, then <laughs> you'll be Windows. unhappy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you also have uh, ability, uh, I'll say this beforehand, this is kind of meant for people who know what these mean. If you're a novice user, it's a great way to see what's running, but I wouldn't really kind of tweak anything. Don't change things. Don't change things unless you understand what these mean. Right. We have to give that uh, uh, warning all the time. I met a guy in Baltimore who said, I tried a program and it messed up my system. Well, we do often tell you tools that are power tools. Please use caution. When you you want to use caution, and, yeah. you know, it's, but it's still... We, we assume that you're... We give you credit for being smart, and I think you deserve that credit, so just be careful. I feel that if people are exposed to something, That's enough right. that you'll eventually start picking up on certain things. For example, what DOLs are, or what's mm -hmm. an EXE, or you know, what a SRT. Teach a man to fish and will never have to have spam on Friday. That's what I think. Um, yes. That's true. Fabo Toys. And of course, oh, I'm sorry, I just showed one, one of the uh, feature you tools is uh, lets you examine a file. Now, again, this is getting kind of geeky. Boy. This will, this, will, <laughs> Boy. this will pick out Boy. essentially a lot of the information that. Yeah. You know, perhaps if you wanted to break something down or you're starting a class in a program you'd want to learn about. Well, but also it could be helpful in finding out where that program came from because sometimes from there's this, information. Especially in if it's uh, something you've never seen before and you think yeah. it might be mm, a Trojan or right. perhaps a miscellaneous or miscreant program. That it's free. Learn. It's free. And it's a good thing to have just to maybe look at stuff to see what's on your system. Not something that may be particularly useful to a novice user, but if you know what most of these things are. You know me. I'm going to start messing with this thing like crazy. I'm going yes. to mess up my whole system. It's all over. That's cool. I'm a Robert Toys. That's why you have me. That's what I got you. Hey, thank you, Roger. Great stuff. You're welcome. Really fascinating stuff, too. I can't wait to get this. Uh, if you want to get the link, of course, where do you go? TechTV.com slash call for help. Thanks, Roger. Sure.